Hey again, everybody. It is me, He Who Knits, otherwise known as Steve. Uh, today, I want to come to you with another yarn haul. Um, so truth be told, this is a yarn haul that happened eh, a couple of months ago, uh, in the last couple of months anyway. But because I am such a um, yarn glutton, I still have most of it sitting around because I have not really used it for a project yet. I just grabbed it because it was cool. Um, so I thought I would show you because it was kind of cool for me to go back and dig through my yarn to see what I've gotten that I have not used yet. FYI, kind of feeling like fall. Um, we're getting there. It's a little bit cooler today. That nasty storm pushed a, a lot of that heat away. So um, in the spirit of cooler weather coming on, I am wearing the cardigan that I finished uh, not that long ago. So actually showed this cardigan in a previous video, so you can go back and take a look at that if you want. So let's talk about some yarn here, and I'm gonna try to sort out the different shops that I got this yarn from. Um, and I really like all of it, even though I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. So first of all, I have this, uh, you can get a close look at the color there, all the way around. And this is one of the softest things I have ever, ever, ever touched. Uh, it is from Lana Grossa. It is Piuma. Piuma? Piuma. Um, so this says that it is Baby Alpaca Merino. And again, super, super soft. Made in Italy. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with it, really, honestly. But I love it. And eventually something is going to come along that I will use this for. Um, so uh, I kind of have this organized a little bit from uh, the different hauls that I've grabbed. So uh, next up, same haul as I move some of my other yarn aside to try to keep it all in check. Um, so I got these two, speaking of alpaca, um, not super visually exciting color-wise, uh, but just some really, again, super nice soft yarn. And uh, this, I'll show you the tag, is Viento Plymouth Yarn. Boom, right there. Kind of get a look at that. Uh, this is 70% baby alpaca, 30% bamboo. Um, I asked them about that. Uh, bamboo is probably not as wild as it sounds when we're talking about uh, these different materials that go into yarn sometimes, but uh, I was thinking about using these for a sweater. Never really got around to it because I found other materials that I wanted to use uh, besides these, but these are super small, as you can see, but really soft, and I think they would make uh, maybe a really cool set of mittens or something like that, so I'm going to hold on to that. Um, next up, from the same store, and I'll tell you that the store, uh, this one, it's called the Knitter's Edge, and as I always try to do, I'm going to leave all the links to these yarn stores as I go along uh, in the videos. Uh, next up, same store. Boom. I like this one a lot, and I got this one purely because of the color. I love that color. Again, not sure what's going to happen with it, but I really like the color. Uh, and this is another Plymouth. This is... There you go, you can see Baby Alpaca, um, Grand Hand Dyed Luxury. Um, and sometimes I'll grab stuff if it's discontinued just because I, I think it's really cool. Um, and this one was another one that was discontinued, so I don't have great hopes of finding any more of this, but I will certainly do what I can with what I've got here. Um, nothing, uh, these are all kind of medium weight type of yarns too so far. Uh, next up, let me move some more things around here. Uh, that goes with that. That goes with that. Uh, this might be all from that store. In fact, as I look through here, uh, yes, I believe so. Um, and I think I, I already used something from that store because I feel like something's kind of missing from that haul. But uh, overall, really cool store. Again, it's called Knitter's Edge, and it's in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Uh, really great staff there. Um, I got some uh, great advice, great help. 
Uh, they've got patterns. They've got lots and lots and lots of fully knitted examples of stuff. Um, they'll wind your yarn for you if you buy it. Uh, absolutely outstanding store. Again, I'll leave the link. So um, kind of in the same general area here, uh, I did make a quick stop at another shop. Uh, and it is called Speckled Sheep. And that one is in a place called Bird in Hand, Pennsylvania. Uh, that one's out toward the Lancaster area. In fact, a couple of these that I'm going to show you next are from that same type of area, the Lancaster County area. Uh, and this one's not too crazy. I showed you another yarn and I talked about it in a previous video, actually, uh, my last yarn haul. I got all that really neat kind of royal purple Plymouth yarn. And I mentioned that I had gotten a different color, a different red before, and I was going to make a sweater out of it. Here it is. And you can see it's kind of the same thing if you saw that video. It's kind of that heathered, um, almost speckled look for this red. Um, again, this is Plymouth. Right, there you go. Uh, it's Homestead Tweed. I really, really like the, uh, the yarn itself. I love the color. And I almost went with this color to make a sweater. And I might still in the future if I can find it. Um, the color here is burgundy. Uh, not Ron Burgundy, of course, but burgundy. Nonetheless, still classy. Um, so that was all I grabbed there at that store. And there you go, the benefits of living on a main street in a town. Um, anyway, this is a smaller store. They have some unique stuff there. Um, and it's kind of out away from other things. A lot of craftiness going on in that area. But uh, that's all I grabbed at that store because by the point I got there, I had already spent too much money. So, uh, And then the other place I went on that little tour of the area was, uh, it was a place called Flying Fibers, and that is actually closer to Lancaster itself in the Landisville area out that way. Um, still, this was all kind of in my quest to find another sweater yarn. Uh, and here you can see the color on that one. And the color here, uh, first of all, this is by the company Brooklyn Tweed, and this store had a lot of Brooklyn Tweed materials really great yarn company uh, and you can see this is the quarry type um, this is uh, it's a chunky yarn and I um, can't see too much else about it here it tells you where it's sourced uh, it's sourced in Wyoming spun in New Hampshire dyed in Philadelphia um, so that's what you've got with this yarn a lot of information there about it uh, and I almost went with this I did use some of it to knit up a little um, swatch. I kind of like to start a sweater with the ribbing usually at the bottom. Um, and that gives me an idea if I want to do the rest of the sweater in that type of yarn. And while I love the yarn itself, it just didn't grab me for the sweater project, which actually ended up being this one. Um, so uh, again, Brooklyn Tweed, great stuff. Uh, nice little yarn shop. They had a lot of cool things there, very well organized. Again, very uh, helpful, friendly staff there. Um, so that was that. But uh, by far, the one that we're going to talk about the most here, and I've mentioned them before, a uh, yarn shop that I really love, Ubiquitous in Lidditz, Pennsylvania. And this was a previous Ubiquitous haul, um, maybe more than one all combined. But uh, nonetheless, here's what I've gotten from them. And they have maybe my favorite selection of unique um, local smaller batch type of yarns there i always seem to find something new they do a great job of bringing in new stuff all the time uh, first of all not super out there you can find this in a lot of places but noro yarn and this was just a matter of me thinking it was a really really cool color um, so i got this haven't tried it out yet again waiting for kind of a project there. Uh, some people like to knit in Noro style, which is um, pretty technical, a lot of colors. I just like the Noro yarn because it's already there with the colors and eventually, like I said, I'm going to come up with something to do with it. Uh, another thing I got there 
really without any kind of purpose or plan was this uh, this kind of tweedy yarn tweedy uh, made uh, let's see if I can see what even kind of blend this is uh, acrylic polyester and some wool but this is Boston style apparently I've been to Boston not really sure what makes this Boston style but here you go, there's a good look up close at the color. Now you can see it's kind of a gray with some other little um, colors mixed in there. I like it, I thought it was unique, and I do plan to do something with this yarn eventually. Uh, here's another one that I could see maybe some thick socks or mittens with that. Another one that I got there, and I really just like the yarn, was a Royal Tweed. Another, uh, we saw earlier I grabbed some Lana Gross, uh, Grossa, Lana Grossa. Um, but here's another one by that same company, and you can see close up what it looks like. Uh, and this one is another merino, uh, kind of another reddish color, uh, almost a, a reddish brown type of color. Uh, I did actually make something with this, I'll show you. Um, and I made this hat. This is actually a, uh, the pattern on this was exactly what they called it a woven weave I think is what they called it and you can see maybe from further on um, it's got little uh, delineations here looks like it's uh, kind of like a woven basket which is I uh, I'm guessing is why they called it that but um, really nice material for a hat or a scarf or something like that so uh, there's that one one more uh, kind of unique one before I get into my sock yarn um, I just really like the color here. This is this Tibet, and you can see close up, it's a really bright, vibrant blue, and it's got little flecks of color in there. Um, Ornagi Thalati, Italian, but uh, there it is, close up. And uh, this is another kind of medium to almost heavier weight yarn, but uh, this one is wool for the most part, the majority of it. Um, so really cool, no plan. But we're gonna use it um, now sock yarn I have a problem I've kind of got it under control but this shop ubiquitous carries one of my favorite sock yarns Schapel. Uh, it's a German yarn I believe Zauber ball crazy so here's one color and if this looks a little small that's because I actually did make a pair of socks I didn't like the way they came out um, so I actually checked it down to needle sizes uh, and I'm retooling that and I'm going to make a better pair of socks just a little tighter they were a little lacy before and I didn't really want that really thin laciness to them so that was the first one I ever got and then from there I was hooked and I got different colors of this Zauber ball there's another one you can see the color is just really wild and cool I guess that's why it's called crazy uh, here's another one. This is more of a green all the way around. You can see that. There's the little Zauber ball tag. And then my last one, completely different from the others, kind of an orange and blue, a little bit of red in there. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong with that shuffle type of yarn. Uh, really great dyeing, really great colors, perfect for socks and things like that. And eventually I'm going to have an army of socks to show you. Uh, my whips right now, I have a pair of socks for uh, a challenge that I talked about in a previous video. Circular needles versus double pointed for sock making. I'm currently working my way through that little challenge. Uh, so we will talk about that then. But there you go. That's all of the really amazing yarn that I've had sitting around. Haven't really made anything out of it yet. Uh, some of it I have plans for, some of it I do not. Um, and just to let you know, I do have another yarn haul, or two or three maybe, coming up here soon. I ordered a bunch of yarn online that I've always wanted to try just to see the differences between the types. I'm gonna save that for when they get here, just kind of leave you hanging on that. Um, but it should be pretty cool to explore the yarn that I got there. Uh, that is everything, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, uh, like the videos, get those notifications, all the stuff that they tell you to do, just so you can come back and see me and some videos. Uh, and again, thanks for being here, and I will see you later.